Uh, Lieutenant Governor and uh, Mayor, can we just get your initial reactions to the results so far that are in your favor? We're very, very, very grateful, you know. We're, we're grateful to God about, you know, that's nothing happens without Him. And we thank Him for guiding us and protecting us and blessing us with this. But we were not really expecting the, the gap that large of a gap but uh, initially we were we were in the hole I mean, we were down 490 boats I believe and so we started chipping away uh, you know Dave and I uh, worked very quietly and worked hard very quietly our, our team worked hard also um, in the last three month before the election uh, our team started going to the bigger precincts, precinct one, three, and five, and, and uh, but we had a really good uh, committees in, in two and precinct two and four, and uh, also in Rhoda, TBN also when, when the Democrats came on board, uh, that really uh, helped. Of course with Tina and Leila and the Democrats, uh, throwing their support behind our team uh, certainly uh, helped a lot and that made a lot of difference. So yeah, that's that's why we uh, we saw the, the result and we were very, we were very, very happy with it. People have spoken and we're humbled by it. Um, you know, I guess we have to wait for the, the absentee ballots before, you know, CEC certifies, but I think, you know, if you do the math, uh, I don't think, uh, I, I, I think we, we, we're pretty much there, and, and Dave and I have to start preparing and started uh, start doing planning for our, our transition and, and, and a new administration. And Amir, your reaction? Well, at first I want to say thank you to all our supporters, uh, Saipan, Rora, Tinian, and of course, all our people in the states who have uh, taken the time to request the absentee ballot and uh, sending him over here. Uh, we appreciate that and we love them very much. Uh, this uh, campaign has been a very uh, challenging, very long. Uh, it's a lot of hard work and uh, we want to thank our committees, executive committee, on our supporters that have been uh, going around with us throughout this uh, about a year already. So, and have you, thank you very much. Thank you, Mayor. And have you uh, spoken with uh, the Taurus uh, Sablon team at all no, tonight? No, no. Not yet. And uh, can it can it just get uh, your reflection? Uh, the last time uh, you were uh, at uh, an event waiting for the results, you were his running mate. Uh, you yes. were. Uh, you seem to be uh, in the lead now. So, so what's your reflection now that uh, you um, are in the lead? Uh, uh, against uh, your sitting governor that was your former running mate? Well, you know, uh, you know, in, the one thing I've come to accept and, and became a mantra in, in my political life is every election that we've gone through, same as, as, as uh, the mayor, uh, we've gone through a lot of elections. And there's only two things that can happen in elections. You either win or you lose. And to me, when you win, uh, an older statesman advised me a long time ago to be humble. When you, when you're, when you're victorious, be humble. When you're, um, when, when you lose, you know you be gracious. So, um, but you know, I'm, I'm humble. I am humble by by this apparent victory uh, and. Um, I believe the Commonwealth and the people need, and this community needs to heal. And Dave and I will help facilitate that healing. And, and uh, uh, it was a low uh, voter turnout, um, or at least the numbers we're seeing, some of them were, were lower than the yeah. original day. Uh, is your comment on that? Uh, I'm not really sure why that is, you know, uh, but I think that has been the case also in other, other runoffs, you know. Uh, Maybe people were just fatigued. Uh, I'm not sure. 
and I, you know, I cannot put my my finger on it. But you know, uh, despite that, uh, you know, the law says 50 plus one of votes cast. So. And I know uh, you both uh, perhaps are fatigued as well. You've been up all night. Just uh, your last message, I'm sure. Um, we will be uh, following up with both teams in the coming days and perhaps weeks, given that absentee votes are counted until December 9th. Uh, so just uh, your parting message before uh, you uh, head home tonight. Well, uh, we believe the people have spoken and, and we're humbled by the results. And we thank the people of the Commonwealth uh, for their support. And, and We know that we have a lot of challenges ahead of us, uh, but, but we're going to start, you know, maybe after a day's rest tomorrow or, or today, uh, Dave and I will roll up our sleeve and start putting the team together, the transition team together, and, uh, and start work. And who had your transition team? Uh, we haven't even talked about that, to tell you the truth. And Mayor? Well, I just want to say again, thank you for uh, all the support. Uh, from our people and especially the executive committee that have uh, worked so hard to uh, help us out through this campaign and all that. So thank you to our partners to the Democratic Party for joining us a uh, unity to unite and move this uh, uh, Democrat and independent forward for the people of the Commonwealth. So we're looking forward to working with them uh, throughout the administration and then uh, We'll be inviting them also to join us. Thank you very much. All right, thank to God you. be the glory. All right, thank you both, uh, right. Lieutenant Governor thank and Mayor. So appreciate your time. I know it's been a long thank night. You. Thank you so much.